Bangladeshi Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Bangladeshi Cuisine is the national cuisine of Bangladesh. It is dominated by Bengali cuisine and has been shaped by the diverse history and river Rhine geography of Bangladesh. The country has a tropical monsoon climate. Rice is the main staple food of Bangladeshi people and it is served with a wide range of curries. Sublime Bangladeshi dishes exhibit strong aromatic flavors, and often include eggs, potatoes, tomatoes and aubergines. A variety of spices and herbs, along with mustard oil and ghee, is used in Bangladeshi cooking. The main breads are naan, porota, roti, baker kani, and luchi. Dal is the second most important staple food which is served with rice slash porota slash luchi. Fish is a staple in Bangladeshi cuisine, especially freshwater fish which is a distinctive feature of the country's gastronomy. Major fish dishes include eilish, pabda, rui, pongash, kaitpal, megur, betki and tilapia. Meat consumption includes beef, lamb, venison, chicken, duck, squab, and coal. Vegetable dishes, either mashed, boiled, or leaf-based, are widely served. Seafood such as lobsters and shrimps are also often prevalent. Background History Gourmet pulao is served during feasts and festivals. Different types of Bengali biryani and pulao include kachi, tehari, eilish and merg. Different types of kebabs include shik, rishmai, shashlik, tikka, and shami. The country is home to a huge range of Bengali desserts and confectionaries, ranging from pan-fried or steamed rice cakes to halwa and sweets made from fruits and sweetened cheese. Tea is widely consumed as the national beverage and offered to guests as a gesture of welcome. Popular snacks include samosas, pakaras, yahamurai, pitha, and bread roll. The fuchka and shatbatai are major street foods. The Chittagong Hill tracks in southeastern Bangladesh feature bamboo shoot cuisine. Bangladesh is also the world's fifth largest producer of tropical fruits. Ancient Bengali diets included rice, fish, honey, dairy, and vegetables. The region was an administrative and commercial bastion in South Asia during early Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms, and later Muslim sultanates. Mughlay cuisine developed in Bengal after the establishment of the province of Mughal Bengal in 1576, as part of the Mughal Empire. The city of Dhaka played an important role in influencing Bengali food with Mughal elements. The British Empire ruled the region for nearly 200 years between the 18th and 20th centuries, during which the Bengal Renaissance shaped the emergence of modern Bengali cuisine. During the British Raj, Calcutta influenced many Bengali dishes. In the southeast, Arakan cuisine from Burma influenced dishes in Chittagong, particularly dried fish. The partition of Bengal in 1947 resulted in the separation of West Bengal from the Muslim majority East, causing many shifts in demographics and culinary styles. Bangladeshi cuisine incorporates a large number of cosmopolitan influences, a legacy of the region's historic trade links with the Arab world, Persia, Portugal, the United Kingdom, and Burma. The Portuguese in Dhaka developed cheese. The British introduced tea. Islamic dietary laws are prevalent across Bangladesh. Halal foods are food items that Muslims are allowed to eat and drink under Islamic dietary guidelines. The criteria specifies both what foods are allowed, and how the food must be prepared. The foods addressed are mostly types of meat allowed in Islam. 
halal. Bangladeshi people follow certain rules and regulations while eating. It includes warm hospitality and particular ways of serving as well. This is known as Bangalikata. The culture also defines the way to invite people to weddings and for dinner. Gifts are given on certain occasions. Bangalikata also includes a way of serving utensils in a proper manner. In Bangladesh cuisine, some foods are popular across the entire region, while others are specific to a particular area. Bangalikata The western areas mainly include the Kulna and Jessore areas and is very close to the West Bengal of India. The cuisine of these areas are known as authentic Bengali recipes. Mug dal with hilsha fish head, dalna, chachtri, luchi payish, hilsha with mustard are very popular in this region like neighboring West Bengal and India. Coconut milk is very popular in this region. The northern part of Bangladesh has strong influences from northeast Indian states such as Assam and Tripura. The main characteristic of this food is that it is mainly sweet and has a lot of uses of banana throats, raw papaya fruit, raw mango, urad lentils, and grilled or smoked vegetables. The capital Dhaka and its territory region make up the central region, where freshwater fish are more popular. Due to different ruling periods, the cuisine of this region is versatile. The old Dhaka area is famous for the Nawab Awadi cuisine. In old Dhaka, kebabs, naans, baker kani, kashchi, and paki biryani, halayam, mutton banai kikurai, roust and speciality mutton tehari are examples of dishes that became popular in other parts of the country. Regional Cuisines the staples of Silhidi people are mainly rice and fish. Their choice and method of cooking is distinctly different to non silhidis Traditional foods include sour dishes, such as tengha cooked with vegetables, including amra, dafal, olives, dilwa, amshi, mango shodhi, kul, hatkhora, ada zamir and any other sour lemon-like tasty vegetable. Also many types of meat dishes, including chicken. Southwestern Region The southern region of Bangladesh includes the tribal areas that have their own style of cooking methods and ideas. Other than that, the most southern part of this region is mainly influenced by the Arakan cuisine of Burma. Dried fish bamboo shoots, sea fish, and many more are the specialties. They use lots of spicy flavors and coconuts in their food preparations. Northeastern Region Bangladeshi cuisine has over time been largely influenced by the Mughlay cuisine left behind by the Persian rulers. This has made Bangladesh a cuisine to include many rich aromatic dishes such as biryani and kormas that requires the use of a large array of spices along with an extensive amount of ghi. Dhaka being the Mughal capital of the Bengal Subaya was a major trading center in South Asia so many culinary styles from around the world influenced the city's cuisine. After Dhaka became the capital of East Bengal then Bangladesh the populace began to adopt the cuisine of the city with many unknown Persian, Turkish, and Arabic-influenced dishes becoming hugely popular. In Bangladesh the people have adopted a distinct method of cooking and presenting food from their Indian brothers. In Bangladesh meat is a staple with beef being the most popular meat followed by chicken and goat meat with duck being occasionally eaten and pork eaten only by the Christian and tribal minorities. Meats are usually cooked in a variety of ground and whole spices and tend to be spicy. The most popular method to cook meat is bana which is when the meat and onions are fried for a long time with ground and whole spices over high heat. While meats are hugely popular in Bangladesh, 
fish is the main protein with it being associated with their Bengali identity. Fish is usually cooked in a lightly spiced gravy to allow for the flavor of the fish not to be overpowered. Yahol or is the main method to cook the fish along with vegetables such potatoes and aubergines. However shutki is also a popular way to eat fish which is drying, frying and then cooking the fish in a gravy. Shutki is known for its pungent aroma and its spicy and tangy flavor. Central Region Ratshahi and Northern Regions Ratshahi mangoes are considered to be the best in the country. Sweet dishes are also popular. The northern parts of the country is also renowned for growing pineapple, guava, watermelon, white or sweet melon, green bell apple, wood apple, tropic grape, jujube, pear, lychee, carambola, etc. Also famous are the Mishti Doi of Bagra which are known to be the best in Bangladesh with the desserts of the north being considered amongst the most sweet and delicant in the whole nation. Silhet, a citrus fruit called Shatkora is sometimes used in meat dishes. Freshwater fishes are more readily available than saltwater ones. Chittagong and Southern Regions Ziafat or Mezban feasts are popular throughout the area, where characteristic heavy dishes dishes rich in animal fat and dairy are featured. Saltwater fish and seafood are quite prevalent in these areas. Shutki is more available in this region than in other parts of the country. Bangladesh's southern region is also popular worldwide for its fisheries industries with over 100 types of fishes exported every day from this region. Barisal and Kulna, Piper Chiba is a flowering vine in the family Piperaceae. It is called Chuihul in Bangladesh. Chuihul is originally the twig of a Piper Chiba. It is a very expensive spice in Bangladesh has great medicinal value, and tastes somewhat like horseradish. People in Kolna, Bagarhat and Shatkaira cut down the stem, roots, peel the skin and cut it into small pieces and cook them with meat and fishes, especially with mutton. They love the spicy pungent flavor of spice all year round. A wide range of sweet water fishes are available in this region which are highly famous all over the country. Mustard oil and vegetable oil are the primary cooking mediums in Bangladesh cuisine, although sunflower oil and peanut oil are also used. However, depending on the type of food, clarified butter is often used for its aromatic flavors. Eastern Region Bangladesh food varies between very sweet and mild to extremely spicy. It resembles food found in other parts of Asia. There are also slight similarities with Southeast Asian and Northeast Indian food customs. The most common condiments, herbs, and spices in Bangladesh cuisine are garlic, onion, ginger, turmeric, ghee, shumac, coriander cumin, dry bay leaves, chili pepper, and chili powder. Southeastern Region The patch poron is a general-purpose spice mixture composed of fenugreek seeds, nigella seeds, cumin seeds, and black mustard seeds. This mixture is more convenient for vegetarian dishes and fish preparations. Achar assortment of pickled fruit, vegetables, or spices. Generally flavored with mustard oil, mustard seeds, aniseeds, caraway seeds, and asafoetida or hing, bora, anything that has been mashed, mixed with thick batter and then formed into a rough roundish shape and deep fried, generally in soybean or mustard oil. Generally it is served with rice as a starter, or served with puffed rice crisps or as a single snack. The bora has quite a few kinds. When potatoes are fried in a light chickpea flour batter, 
they are called fuluri, beja, anything fried, cauliflower, cabbage, fish, chicken after it has been salted or dipped in any kind of water-based batter. Does not include croquettes or crumb-coated items, baba, fish or vegetables steamed with spices, bait, a vegetable that has been put in the pot where rice is cooking. It is cooked with the rice. Generally, the vegetable includes potatoes, butternut squash, raw papayas, bitter gourd, snake gourd and okra. It is often eaten with a tinge of mustard oil or ghee and salt. For this, generally a top chal rice is used. It is a short-grained, glutinous rice that cooks quickly and preferred because of its creamy quality and ability to become sticky. That aids the dish when it comes to mashing. At serving, fresh ghee, or butter, and salt to taste, is mixed and mashed by hand and then eaten. A raw green chili, and a boiled and shelled egg, sometimes accompany this dish, porta, any vegetable, such as potatoes, aubergine, beans, sour mangoes, papaya, pumpkins, and shrimp, dried fig or even dal, first boiled whole and then mashed and seasoned with red shallot, fresh chili, mustard oil slash ghee and spices, chap. Bengali-style croquettes, usually coated with crushed biscuits or breadcrumbs, chutney, generally, the Bengal region is one of the pioneers for this dish, making it with everything. Including preserved mango sheets, called amshato, dom, vegetables, especially potatoes, or meat, cooked over a covered pot containing water, slowly over low heat slightly steaming. The word is derived from the dumb technique popular in Mughlay cuisine, gantu, complementary vegetables are chopped or finely grated and cooked with porin and ground spices. Dried pellets of dal are often added to the gantu. Ghee is commonly added at the end. Non-vegetarian gantos are made, with fish or fish heads added to the vegetables. The famous Mori Gantu is made with fish heads cooked in a fine variety of rice. Some Gantos are very dry while others are thick and juicy, Kalia, a very rich preparation of fish or meat using a lot of oil or ghee with a spicy sauce usually based on ground ginger and fresh shallots pasted or fried along with a tempering of goram mushla, kofta, ground meat croquettes bound together by spices or eggs. Served alone or in savory gravy, korma, it involves egg, fish, or meat cooked in a mild yogurt-based sauce with ghee, and often poppy seed paste is added. People of southern Bangladesh add coconut milk to many of their dishes and korma is no exception, patchery, generally, oily fish is sliced evenly and wrapped in a banana leaf after the fish has been basted with freshly pasted mustard with a hint of mustard oil, chili, turmeric, and salt, posto, anything cooked with poppy seed paste as the main flavoring agent. Often poppy seed paste with some mustard oil is eaten mixed with rice all by itself as a mild beginner in a meal, shack, green leafy vegetables, like spinach and mustard greens are shredded and cooked until they wilt in a touch of oil and tempering of nigella seeds, torkari, a general term often used in Bengali, the same way curry is used in English. The word first meant uncooked garden vegetables. From this, it was a natural extension to mean cooked vegetables or even fish and vegetables cooked together. The use of spices for both meat and vegetable dishes is quite extensive and includes many combinations. The combination of whole spices, fried and added at the start or finish of cooking as a flavoring is special to each dish. Whole black mustard seeds and freshly ground mustard paste are also a typical combination. 
A pungent mustard sauce called kashundi is sauce for snacks or sometimes makes a base ingredient for fish dishes and vegetable dishes popular in Bangladesh. The following is a list of characteristic Bangladeshi recipe styles. Each entry is a class of recipes, producing different dishes depending on the choice of ingredients. There are tastes to which the Bangladeshi palate cater to. These include Rasgulla Rasgulla, locally pronounced Rashagala or Rashgala, is a sweet made with chana and sugar syrup. It is one of the most widely consumed sweets. The basic version has many regional variations, Kir toast, delicate sweet made of ricotta with a thick cream inside, Vasagar, most famous in Dhaka, Bangladesh, and Canada. Saffron Va, made with ricotta, a must for Bengali wedding in Dhaka and Canada. Chanar Shandish is a dessert created with milk and sugar. Chanar Mishti, a sweet made from chickpea flour with sugar slash jaggery slash molasses. Nowadays, there are various types of Chanar Mishti available all across Bangladesh. Mishti Doi sweetened homemade creamy yogurt. Prepared by boiling milk until it is slightly thickened, sweetening it with sugar, either gouda slash gura or kajuri gouda slash gura, and allowing the milk to ferment overnight. Naru it is usually homemade and used as offerings in Hindu rituals of praying to their deities. Rashmala small rashgalas in a sweetened milk base. Kamala is famous for its rashmala, kaja. Deep fried sweets made from wheat flour and ghee, with sugar and sesame seeds as the coating, mua cooked with rice flakes and jaggery, Hawaii mishti made with sugar and given various forms, chana is fresh, unripened curd cheese made from water buffalo milk, chanar jalapi made in a manner very similar to regular jalebi except they are made with chana, kheer is a common Bangladeshi sweet dish. Ferni, together with Zarda, is also typical during Shabi Barat and Eid. It is cooked with dense milk, sugar slash jaggery, and scented rice. Although it takes a lot of time to cook, it is one of the main features of Bangladeshi desserts. A thicker version of kheer is used as filling for pitha. Gurushandish is a fritter made from rice flour and palm sugar. Each dish is to be eaten separately with a small amount of rice or rooty, so that individual flavors can be enjoyed. The typical Bangladesh affair includes certain sequences of food. Two sequences are commonly followed, one for ceremonial dinners, such as a wedding, and the other for day-to-day -day sequence. Both sequences have regional variations, and sometimes there are significant differences in a particular course in Bangladesh. Culinary Style and Influences Main Ingredients Cooking Medium and Spices Common Bangladeshi Recipe Styles Ceremonial occasions, such as weddings, used to have elaborate serving rituals, but professional catering and buffet-style dining can be seen now. The traditions have not disappeared, large family occasions and the more lavish ceremonial feasts will still have the same traditional rituals. Bangladeshi foods contain staples, such as rice and flat breads. Different traditional flat breads include luchi, porota, bakhorkani, naan, rudi, rice flour flatbread, chitai pitha, and many more. Dishes made from chicken, beef, fish, or mutton, as well as dal and vegetables commonly accompany rice and flatbreads. Traditional dishes can be dry, such as gosht bana. Items with yahal are often curried. Bangladeshi cuisine frequently uses fresh vegetables, which generally vary with season. Vegetables are also used for light curries. On special occasions, 
such as weddings or other similar ceremonies, Bangladeshi people serve guests with biryani and kebabs along with other side dishes, which is very popular in the cities and urban areas, and borhani, which is a spicy drink that is known to aid digestion. Another popular meal is palau with rost and other dishes such as egg korma and rizala and kala bana. In Bengali culture it is considered rude to only cook a few items so a large array is often made for the guests at least five-sixths dishes. In Bengali cuisine, chutney is mainly served at the end of a meal. It is a sweet and sour thickened curry usually made with local seasonal fruits such as raw mango, jujube, Bengal quince, etc. with patch poran and sugar. Bengalis take pride on their desserts. Bengalis are the pioneers of making and inventing a variety of sweets in the Indian subcontinent. Most of these sweets have been created by a gosh. The last item before the sweets is doi. It is generally of two varieties either natural flavor and taste or mishti doi, typically sweetened with charred sugar. This brings about a brown color and a distinct flavor. Bangladeshi cuisine has a rich tradition of sweets. The most common sweets and desserts include Bangladeshi meals Main course Chutney Desserts Beverages Specialties by Region